All right, so this guy, uh, Scotia, he did a translation for Shref every Shref character in the Climax art book. And I think this is just like the developers talking about the characters. So I think it's kind of like the director talking about Ryu, but then the bottom some are like the, the way they want to balance them. So I'm gonna just discuss like a little bit about it. For Ryu, they want to quote, cool looking Ryu, pay attention to whether or not he's doing feel good. And then they kind of, Gosh. So it was kind of interesting. Like sometimes some of the characters, they definitely try to like make it make sense. Like this right here. The state of Bison is what's a push of psycho power to forefront in line with the general story. Initially, there was the flying psycho shot, but we want to create a form that could be attacked by using psycho punisher more forcefully. So then moves, psycho blast, psycho frontal were convened and implemented. Also, they said since he did not appear in the Street Fighter 3 series also in to pick Bison's final moment in some form. This is Bison, maybe Bison's last game. I was like, you motherfucker. They uh, actually said Bison's supposed to be like, this is the final shit, maybe. For Cammy, they wanted a simple effect of character, which they kind of made sense. And they also say like, there was difficult to create additional elements such as V trigger and V scale. I think this comes into play when like, you have a character with just a good V trigger and like a decent V scale, you're like, well shit, what do we do now? This is Nikali. Because of Nikali's ability to power of via V trigger activation, it was difficult to balance the performance of V trigger one and two. In the end, we made a drastic adjustment by changing one of them from permanent type to a limited type, and so the V trigger from three bars to two. It's super weird that they couldn't, or they were having difficulty with this. I never thought outside of it, because calling outside of V trigger is kind of meh, you know. But him in V trigger is pretty nice. Where she was initially invented is a tricky concept with six different techniques derived from run actions. Mm. How in a process incorporated into the game, there are parts that are difficult to handle since he's a main character. If you guys didn't know, Rashid is a main character of Shufar 5. We reviewed the structure and came up with a more standardized form. The current normal social techniques include some of the moves that were planned as run derived techniques. Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah, Dalsum. Chat, if you guys don't know what they say about Dalsum, bro, this is funny. Um, we aim for the landing point, not too strong, but with interesting moves that other characters don't have. We thought we achieved that during the development process, so we often submit ideas along the lines, it will be fun to have a wider range of movement, so let's do this. I regret that we increased the 5 hour EX Yoga Fire too much. And what they mean by EX Yoga Fire, I'm gonna show you guys right here. Yeah, okay. They said, yo, this shit, bro? Oh, I'm still plus 22. That's crazy. No, hold up. Do I got a dose? Hold up now. Jury. Jury was a very popular character when she first appeared, of course, but we heard many people that say she was still control, which is quite true. She was very difficult to control in four, and they couldn't use her even if they wanted to. In light of this, we lowered the threshold of controls and proceeded with the creation of a new style in which the player can stand around while managing resources. So they definitely wanted her to be very simplified. They definitely wanted her to be like simplified to a T that way people, because I remember back in um, four, you had the negative edge a lot. You have the negative edge, you have to understand like overhead uh, feng shui setups, so you have to understand like how to do die kicks and counters, there's a lot to do. And also, when, even when you had store, you have to hold down a button, and depending on the button you had, you had a certain fireball height. Do that along with like uh, your fingers being like able to punch and everything. Like I had a weird layout when I played her, so it was definitely weird, but they kind of just wanted simple easy, which was probably fine. Having a resource thing is not too bad, because now in six, everyone has resources. So it's not bad of an idea to go through. Ooh, Yurian. Speaking of Yurian, the adjustment that removed the invincibility time from the EX headbutt, probably the most memorable. It was adjusting the head, a great impact on the character strength. So even after the direction was decided, there was a lot of trial and error within the development team as to what kind of performance we should give it. In the end, the bottom line was to raise the offensive aspect, but I think it was a technique that was being fine-tuned right up till the very end. This basically, all this means is like, yeah, we nerfed it. Hold that shit. But we gave you guys combos, except that shit. Adams created an attempt to eliminate command inputs from the session moves and to make every session move intuitive and simple. We designed the characters that beginners who have never played a fighting game can easily control them so that even veteran players can join them. Fuck no, one, two, three, that bullshit. G-Style is different in this work and as such, he uses different techniques. It was both fun and difficult to decide whether, where to give each technique the merit of raising the bar. We made major adjustments, overall adjustment at the end of the game, and I think we ended up with a energy special that doesn't, does not lose out to a strong characterization. Yeah. Oh, I want to see Lo uh, Luke. <laughs> What's the re okay? What's the reasoning for Luke? What's, what do you guys think the reasoning is? Luke is the main character of Street Fighter Six, so the challenge is creating an appealing character while at the same time giving him personality that is unique to his title. How did you like the gaitism which was modeled after Drag Age Street Fighter 6? We hope you enjoyed the new Luke who has grown up and developed in a way that is different from the Luke in Street Fighter 6. Damn. 
So this motherfucker was just like a poster boy. They didn't even say shit about his balance. They just tried to wipe saying like, oh yeah, he's a main character. Oh wait, what did they say about 11? 11 is not even fucking game. Oh, they just like, they wanted to create random shit. But um, yeah, uh, I'll probably put a link in the description of this to, uh, if you guys want to see your character and everything, but that's just a few of them. But it's kind of interesting how like sometimes they say like a move was too good or they wanted to do all this. So it's always going to get developer comments. Like they know a move is good, good, but they don't know anything about it. So I'm always curious about that. And, like in like the offices, like do they talk about like, oh, we see a bunch of poison players using the EX heart raid. We should probably nerf that. Yeah, if you like this, uh, feel free to like the video and everything. Just a little something interesting. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.